internet is a great place to find things, you know, beyond awesome comic book review shows, it's also the best place to find bizarre and weird things. Absolutely. I mean, think of the things the internet has brought us. You've got conspiracy theory blogs, you've got a video of charity Santas having a street fight, you've got a painting series of former US presidents made up to look like Disney princesses. Yes. Yeah. And then there's the aqueduct and sanitation. No, 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 no. That, that was the Romans. That was the last two. Yeah. Romans. yeah. But the point still stands. Mm. The internet is a treasure trove of the surreal and weird. So where better to look for the world's weirdest comics than, you know, the internet. This is true, and the two series that we're looking at today, although they have since been picked up for publication by Dark Horse, began and continue as web comics. First off, and in descending order of insanity, we have Axe Cop. You remember when we said about the bizarre stuff that you can find on the internet? Well, how about a comic starring a psychotic policeman with an axe that was written by a five-year-old boy? Some comic characters are inspired by personal experience. Some are political or social statements. Axe Cop came around when five-year-old Malachi Nicole was playing with his brother Ethan and happened to have a plastic axe. Yeah, and if Ethan Nicole hadn't happened to be a comic artist, the character wouldn't have really gone any further than that. And the world would be poorer for it. I mean, reading Axe Cop is like jumping straight into the mind of a five-year-old. It just plows forward in this near stream of consciousness narrative. On the very first page, for example, we meet Axe Cop's partner and best friend, Flute Cop. Flute Cop gets splashed by dinosaur blood and becomes Dinosaur Soldier. And then later he eats an avocado and becomes Avocado Soldier. Later still he gets hold of a unicorn horn and becomes Uni Avocado Soldier. But then he uses the horn's magic to wish himself back to being plain old Dinosaur Soldier again. And honestly, that's probably some of the most straightforward stuff that happens yeah. in this comic. I mean, I guess that's the real appeal of it. There are no rules here. Anything can happen, and it usually does, <laughs> yeah. with hilarious results. I did laugh a lot reading through this, especially in the Ask Axe Cop segments. It's just so much fun. Whether Axe Cop is chopping off the heads of robbers, or aliens, or Vikings, or, you know, just riding a flying T-Rex with machine gun arms to the moon, you can bet it will be something you haven't seen before. It's a buy from me. Uh, look, it's certainly unique, and it's actually quite interesting to read it from the start and yeah. see the stories develop as Malachi gets older over the five years it's been going. But I have to admit that I did find the lack of depth made me lose interest after a while. It's certainly funny. Look, I get the appeal. I absolutely <laughs> do. But at the risk of being told repeatedly that I'm completely missing the point, I'd prefer to read something with a bit more structure to it. I'm going to give it a borrow. You are completely missing the point. There it is. Yeah, but I don't have time to tell you why right now because we have to move on to our next webcomic. The Adventures of Dr. McNinja, created by writer and artist Christopher Hastings. Hastings has described the Dr. McNinja comic as a celebration of everything he thinks is awesome. Yeah. And you can see why. <laughs> I can actually picture Hastings as a kid thinking, I think I want to be a ninja when I grow up. Or maybe a doctor. Screw it, I'm going to do both. So, we have a doctor, who is also a ninja, struggling with his conflicting duties to kill and to heal. Not to mention struggling with zombies, pirates, giant lumberjacks, and even Mexican archaeologists riding velociraptors. So the crazy is definitely there. I mean, you're not going to write a comic about an Irish ninja doctor without <laughs> there being some crazy going on. But there's actually also a sharp sense of humour in amongst all the extreme violence and pop culture referencing. I found myself repeatedly laughing out loud when I read this. Yeah, me too. There's a similarity to Deadpool in this series, both in the humour and in the fact that it's got a guy in a mask whipping off heads with some sweet ninja sword work. So any fans of Wade Wilson should definitely give this one a read. And I'm a big fan of the art style as well. It's a buy from me. Yeah, and a big buy from me as well. Look, I think everything that I'm looking for in a webcomic is right here. It's clever, it's funny, it's violent, and it references 80s power ballads. Don't ask me why that's a criteria, it just is. So give it a look as soon as you can. So you, uh, you know what we're going to do right now, right? <sighs> yep. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so here is why you're missing the point of Axe Cop. So Axe Cop isn't about storyline, you know? It's about... 